Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Autonaton. And, as you can see, I've made loads of changes. I got a bit carried away. <laughs> um, the first big thing is that I'm using shaders. Um, I don't usually like shaders, I've not really had much luck with it in the past, but I have found shaders that actually seem to work, they don't lag my computer too much. And um, yeah, there. I mean, it looks absolutely awesome. And this is this is not even the the um, the high def ones. These are the I think this is the light version. But I will put a link in the description to the shader pack that I used. Also, um, I've extended my base. As you can see, I extended it all the way across to the machines. I'll show you the inside in a second. I made. A leather, a cow farm. Well, cow farm. I've, I've start, I started breeding up cows, and I've got a pen for sheep and a pen for pigs for when I find them. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I did loads. Let's go inside and have a look. Um, I got a bit carried away with the um, with the quests, and I went ahead and I made a cloche because I was trying to, I was trying to grow. What was I trying to grow? seeds but for some reason i couldn't get it to work but we will get back to that um i extended in here i put uh these are all spruce trees in hopping bonsais because i wanted the spruce um logs because everything is in spruce uh what else did i do i can't remember if i if i did the the link to the mining dimension on camera or off camera but I made a portal to the mining dimension which is a peaceful mining world so I will show you that in a second as well and um, thanks to one of my commenters Robert he suggested making a blaze farm so I can get blazes so I did that as well I'll show you that at some point and he also suggested, why am I hearing, why did I hear, have I got a, a, I've got a zombie someplace, it's probably underneath. He also suggested turning around the capacitors, there is a zombie, I don't know where that way oh it might be under the house there was a little patch under the house and I think it's under there he suggested turning these around I haven't done it yet so then I have one side facing one side as the input and one side as the output and then that would solve um, you know that would solve at least some of these connection problems and so on and connecting things inside so I will do that as well Right, let's move from, let's go outside because it's so nice outside. Oh, and I found some, I found a couple of dogs and I was breeding them up as well. So now I have a dog farm. So in the rewards, let's have a look, let's see what quests I've been doing. I made the cloche, I did large item storage, I did moving fluids and I did large fluid storage. So I'll explain to you, I'll show you what I did. So for the cloche, you need the engineer's workbench and cloche, there it is. So you need four bits of glass, two treated wood, one iron mechanical component and one vacuum tube. And to make those, well the mechanical component I had from um, a request, request, I think I got it from a, a quest reward. But you can also make it in the engineer's workbench. But the vacuum tube, you can only make that in the engineer's workbench. And don't make the same mistake that I did when I went in to see how do you make a blueprint and saw, saw all these different combinations and thought, yeah, let me just pick one. And it turns out these different combinations are for different things. So you have to hover over it. And if you press shift when you hover over it, it will tell you what it makes. So... I had this on hand so I made this one not realizing it makes projectiles 
and what I needed was the um, the one for crafting components. So you get the iron mechanical component, the steel mechanical component, the vacuum tube and the circuit board. But once you have the blueprint, you put it in the engineer's workbench here. And once you've put it, when, when you open up the engineer's workbench, it looks like this. Then you put in your blueprint and it will show you on the side what it makes. And then it will also give you an item list so you can see what you need. So I made the vacuum tubes, but you can make the vacuum tubes and the iron mechanical components from this blueprint. So I made that and put it together. Um, I've put stuff in it because I was trying to work out how to hook it up. But And I made the fluid pump, which is out here, but I have to hook up a water source. Um, what else? No, not that. Here, so we can claim that we get bone meal and eight fluid pipes, which is awesome. Then I did large item storage. Actually, what I did, I made, because I made the fluid pump first, and that is also, no, I don't need that. That is also quite simple. And those are three fluid pipes, an iron mechanical component, and three iron plates. And that gives you the fluid pump. And then when I made the fluid pump, I thought, well, I need, um, I thought I'd need a, a way of storing it. And I knew that you have the large fluid containers. I think it's fluid, fluid tanks, I think they're called. Let's have a look. Uh, fluid tank? No. Let's have a look in the quest book. Uh, let's claim that. Um, the multi-block tank, large fluid storage. Is it called fluid storage? I don't know what it's called. I just made the components for it, and that got me that quest. Fluid outlet. Let's try looking at immersive engineering because you have to make these sheet metal blocks. And if I hold over and click U, that would give me uses. No, it's not coming up under here. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's called. I know all I know is some kind of fluid storage, but I made the blocks for it and then kind of remembered, oh yeah, I need to record this. <laughs> so I stopped. But as it turns out, for the large item storage, well, that's the silo. Okay, let's go into the silo. Maybe it's called a silo. Um, immersive and then silo. Silo projector. Displays instructions for making a silo. No, that's not. That's strange. Okay, I don't know why it's not showing up. But, oh, that moon is very bright. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I got all the sheet metal to make it. And then as it turned out, this needs 50 sheet metal and four treated um, wood fence. And the large fluid storage needed 34 sheet metal and four treated wood fence. So it completed for both, which is cool. Okay, let's pick the middle loot chest as always. And the middle one there. Did you not claim? I didn't claim it. Okay, so that's basically what I did. So I think, no, not I think. Today, what I want to do, because I've started to expand my base and I want it to look, you know, nice, different. And, you know, this pack is all about me stepping out of my, my comfort zone and so on. I want to look at the, can't remember the name of the, the mod. Well, I want to do Welcome to Chiseltown and Platformen, that, those two. And also, that was the other thing, I did the mining world. So you have to make the mining multi-tool. Which requires a diamond paxel, two nether bricks, a flint and steel, and a stick. And that gives you the mining multi-tool. 
then you need to make uh, stone bricks and create about it's the same as another portal so you need about at least 12 um, bricks stone bricks you put them in your crafting table with the mining multi-tool and that will give you the um, the bricks that you need to make the portal uses now hover over uses there you go the portal frame so you need to put in the mult di mi mining multi-tool and chiseled and chisel bricks stone bricks together that will give you the portal frame and you put them to you put it together just like you would put together a nether portal that's not what i wanted to do close you and i put it in the house where i have my nether portal and then you will click on the portal frame with the mining multi-tool and it will give you this and you have to, sh to sneak to go into it and then you go into the mining world as far as i know this is supposed to be peaceful Okay, this mining multi-tool will allow you to create a portal to a super flat, always day, peaceful mining world. Because apparently in the mining world, there are some ores that you can't get in the overworld. But I haven't tested that out yet. And that's what I got up to. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. Like I said, I got a little bit carried away. Especially after I installed the shaders and I thought wow this looks really nice and I just went exploring and I found the dogs and did lots of other stuff. Yes, there is a zombie under here. I'm going to have to dig down and, and get him at some point. So today we are going to do these two quests. The chisel. Oh, let's... I didn't collect it. Okay. I want to get the magma leggings. Because the magma... Obsidian is, is good. That's the armor that I have at the moment. But then magma, it will give you... Because um, obsidian give you... Uh, blood, is, I think it's blast resistance. But magma will give you uh, fire resistance. Yes, fire resistance and resistance. Is that blast resistance? I'm I'm guessing. And magma, leg, magma armor is harder to make because you need emerald armor to as your base so i'm going to go for magma right so today welcome to chisel town and platforming cobblestone stone bricks and sandstone are kind of limiting for aesthetics luckily you have more options the chisel mod allows you to chisel blocks into different textures including dirt stone metals redstone and diamond blocks chisel and bits mod allows you to break down and place pieces of blocks down to the pixel level you can use it to combine the pieces of several different blocks to get the look you want. You can also use it for simple tasks like making covers for cables and pipes. You will also want at least one chisel bag to store all the pieces of the blocks you work on. So I have never I have never played with the chisel and bits mod. I know some people absolutely love it. But I've just kind of looked at it and thought that's too fiddly for me. But I think I might play with it this time round. So to make the chisels, let's see, chisel, would help if I could spell, alright so the chisel from the chisel mod is iron and a stick and the chisel from the chisel and bits mod is also iron and a stick but just different places in your crafting grid. Okay, so let's get that. We need two uh, sticks. Where did I put my sticks? And two sticks. Okay, one stick there. And one piece of iron there will give us this chisel. And it was that way around. Give you the other chisel. And Right, so you can either get the diamond chisel from the chisel mod or the diamond chisel from the chisel and bits mod. I want the diamond chisel from the chisel mod because I want to make the eye chisel because that is awesome. And to make the eye chisel, you need a piece of redstone. Is that gold? Yes. 
and a piece of gold. You put it in the crafting table with your chisel and that gives you the eye chisel. And then with the eye chisel, you can take any block, for example, this dirt, and it will give you lots of different patterns for it. So you can turn the dirt into, you see, that's normal dirt. And you have dirt bricks, dirt nether bricks, small bricks, and you can cycle through and see what patterns you can get with the dirt. Was that happy fate? Happy salt, <laughs> like soul sand. And you scroll through, if you left clicked left click on us on a block it might be easier if you do it up against the wall and then you can see but if you left click it will you can cycle through all the patterns for that block and also i know you can do let me see single panel so if i do panel and left click no it's not doing that oh yes panel I'm not sure what this is for. Uh, this might be for the preview. But this, I think, is for the area of blocks. So if I... There you go. Now we've done a 3x3 three three block. So if you left-clicked, left-click on a block, it will transform a whole set of blocks. And each time you do it, obviously, you will take away some durability. And chisel and bits, well, that's going to... I'm going to have to sit down and try and work that one out. Okay, so that's that. And also... Eh, platforming mod. As you start to build up your base, you might find these platforms useful. They can be used as scaffolding, catwalks, even rail beds. And you can make them out of most woods, stone and metals. To start, you'll need a monkey wrench and a platformer. The platformer is a crafting table for platforms and the monkey wrench can be used to rotate placed platforms as well as enable and disable handrails on walkways. Note, to make metal platforms use ingots, not blocks. Okay, so what do you need to make the monkey wrench and the platform? Platformer? Alright, monkey... Uh, there's the monkey wrench so I need two iron two iron bars and red dye and I did get red dye so I'll get those in a second so to make iron bars let's see where did I there's 18 to make iron bars don't you need there you go you need that I need to get my red dye because I've already got some and I put it in the in the pulvis because you get more dye if you pulvis it rather than uh, just uh, doing it in your crafting table because I think you get three three to one flour as opposed to two to one flour okay so monkey wrench we've got that all right, we don't want to make any more monkey wrenches. And the other one is plat form. This pink one. We need six iron, crafting table, and two die. All right, we have enough iron. We just need to get a crafting table. And I'm pretty sure I have a crafting table. No, it's not one in here. I have, there it is. Also, now that I've seen that ender pearl, I think the um, the mobs might be broken in this pack because the there's a quest. Where is it? Um, overcoming your enemies. This one keeps resetting. I didn't really, I didn't, I don't think it's a... It's a, um, a repeatable quest, but this one keeps resetting. This one, I've killed, I've killed creepers. I've killed them with a bow and arrow. I've actually, I actually went up and I killed a couple, which is for me a great victory because I don't, I can't deal with creepers. And it's not showing up because I killed at least five of them. I killed a couple down in the mob farm and I killed one out in the overworld. I managed to surprise him and they're not showing up. 
So I don't know. And then there was a an Enderman that was outside, and I I looked at in I looked it straight in the head, and it kept bopping round, and it wasn't acting like a normal Enderman. So I don't know. I think the mobs might be a little bit broken in this. I really don't know. But that's that. Right. Let's claim a request. Our quest rewards. No. Getting started. So for the platformer, 32 boat, birch, 32 acacia, or 32 oak, dark oak. Well, we have spruce. I want the acacia, because birch we have around here as well. Acacia I don't have. So let's claim that. So that's good. That zombie's getting on my nerves. I think I need... Let's go and sleep quickly, and go and see if we can find that zombie. <laughs> because it's really bugging me. There's not much left of the night left. But also, now that it's morning, we can just go out and appreciate. Because, I mean, look look at it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And in the mornings, it's misty. And, you know, it looks like... What do you want, zombie? We don't want you. But it looks absolutely gorgeous. The sun's coming up from behind the mountain. You can see the... The rays, I mean this looks really, really awesome. I love I love the shader pack, I have to admit. And I did turn off the swaying trees because that was just I couldn't deal with that. And look, the ray the rays are moving as the sun moves. Isn't that awesome? Right, sorry. <laughs> right, let's go see if we can find that zombie. Right, first of all, let's kill you. Right. I've just killed him. Back. Uh, overcome your enemies. Okay, that, it keeps... I don't know. That keep, that will thing up, but the... Oh, there you are. There you go. Maybe I should light up this pocket under here if I don't fit. Actually, I have enough. I have enough dirt. I will fill it up. Um, let's put the red dye in here for now. I should have filled it up in the first place. Okay, let's fill you up so we don't get any more unwanted house guests and fill you up okay right so let's have a look at this platformer then and I think we'll put it here behind this chest Okay, so this obviously is your preview. Let's put in some iron. Okay. So that just gives you... Oh, because I think... Oh, so those are iron stairs. Because I think what you can do... Can you put dirt in there? No. Although that's chiseled. It might not like it because it's chiseled. No, you can't put in dirt. What's that for? I don't know. Let me get some planks. Because I think you can make combinations of things. Let's get some copper. Some gold. Some stone. Oh, is my inventory full? Alright. Let's put our tools away. Yeah, I've got lots of stuff in here. Alright, let me clean up my inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, I've sorted out my inventory. And now I can't remember what we were doing. Because <laughs> I got a little bit carried away, as usual. Um, I put all my dyes here. I also discovered that the pulvus does not take rose bushes or peony. So you, you, have, to, um, you have to crush those down in your uh, inventory table, as usual. 
So unfortunately, I couldn't make use of the, the three for one in that one. So what were we doing? Oh, it says I have no rotten flesh. But in my inventory, I've got three. So yeah, like I said, it's not... that I, Those are bugged for some reason. I don't know exactly what's going on with that. Right. Um, back. Getting started. Platforming. Oh yes, we were looking at the platformers. I went to get some some blocks so we can just have a quick look and see what we can do because I was saying I think you can so that's the iron and then if you put gold here ooh, that looks pretty what are these what are these to store things oh I guess you can store things so if I take that out I'm putting one of the copper. The copper gives you. Oh, and those. Oh, those have got to be different things. You've got fences, you've got railings. It's got to be a different type of railing. A flat platform. And, like, stairs. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then also. So if I did. Where's the wood? Got some planks here. So you can do planks as well. Oh, that is awesome. Right, what are these configs? What's this for? Uh, save. Up, down. West, south, east, north. Home. Information. Oh, okay. Storage used to store materials for crafting. Okay. Two, craft input if materials are needed. If material, if materials needed are available, click here to craft. So you click on that to craft it. Deconstruction. Platforms can be broken down here. Stack size must be equal or grateful, greater to the amount received when crafting. Okay, that makes no sense to me, but I'm sure it will when I start using it. Output buffer used as a temporary storage for automation. This can be em this must be empty before more can be crafted. Okay. Material choice defines look and material used. And what's that? Six, which is this bit. Platform selector cycles between the available available platform type. And seven platform preview rendering of the final product. That is a very handy little little GUI. I like that. That is really, hold shift, okay. All right, but that, that is an awesome little, little GUI. So I guess if you want to automate things, it shows you what you can do. That is really nice. And let's see, oh, this is X-Tones. Let's do this one very quickly and then I can spend my off time making my base pretty. So X-Tones is another option for creative and aesthetic building blocks. Start by crafting X-Tone tiles as a base, then combine these with various dyes and other blocks to create new blocks to build with. Okay, so we want X-Tone tile. And how do you make that? X-Tone. Okay, we need um, three six tone slabs and a chiseled stone or and a stone i should say and it'll give you eight x tone tiles you need six of those and a stone slab that gives you eight okay and let's get some color so let's go for red how i'm assuming you dye it like that? No. How do you dye? Um, uses. Hover. You. Right. Oh, you need eight. Okay, so that's red there. Right, so we made some red stone. 
now to cycle through no the shift no there's a way to cycle through uh, none plus scroll to cycle none plus scroll What do you mean none plus scroll? I don't know what that means. <laughs> none plus scroll to cycle. All right. X tone. I should have put at X tone. Um, is there no None plus scroll. I there's no like manual or anything, and they've put it so that I don't know what that means. I really don't, and it's bugging me because I know you can scroll through and see the different colors. I'm gonna have to to look it up and see because I don't understand what that means. Flat lamp. How do you make a flat lamp? Ooh, that looks interesting. I might make some of those to put around the base on the floor. But can you colour that? I guess not. No, it doesn't look like you have colour options. But I'm going to have to have a look and then... Okay, so I have to click on type 1 to see how to make it. So it's a stone slab. And X-Tone tiles will give you Aegon. And then the other types must be the other colours that you can get. Yes, that must be it. Oh, you can mix it with dirt as well. And you get those weird looking blocks. Okay, uh, layer. So what would that be? Granite. Oh, you can, you can colour it with anything. I thought it was just, um, I thought it was just the dyes. But it looks like you can colour it with anything. And there's 16 types. Oh, this is awesome. I, I can see myself spending at least three days just trying to work out what to do and then start building my base. But, um, so yes, yeah, so we've had been a productive episode, even though I spent most of the episode explaining what I've done off camera. But we got some quests done. And, oh, did, I didn't claim the reward. We get some dies. Awesome. So then we've almost finished the front page. We just have, because this is for the pack update. I mean, the pack didn't update, but I've done it anyway. So we've only got explore while you work, which is the weirding gadget, uh, hopper upgrades. And where was that village? And then we would have finished the first tab. So I think in the next episode, I think we're going to finish off these and then finish the first tab. And then we can go back to immersive engineering. That's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.